Bora. The Glaive. Knocking back Sky, not gonna really do too much. And it seems that the four brush is going to do enough damage. Not quite, but Fortress. It's gonna be Mishi and Call the Meat just kind of backing off here. They look to try and pick up the kill here onto the Glaive as well. And that is gonna be Call the Meat with a forward barrage picking up the kill onto Glaive. We do see Big Paws chasing out the Mishi. Since he died at the beginning of that fight. And still level one to the level three of uh, Ringo and the level three of Glaive. We do see Sky going to be diving down onto the Ringo. Not really where she wants to be though. Gonna that be they run the very high risk of making a mistake. There is the Afterburn coming in from Glaive. It's gonna be Blackfire. They're eating so much damage. Doesn't have Rose Offensive from TSM, but I think they need to back off on the aggression a little bit. There's another Afterburn giving Mixie something to think about. Oh. oh. And you just saw how much damage was coming out of that Black Feather, but here comes Big Paws trying to poke down the Black Feather, able to take him out with a few auto attacks. And it's going to be Loving E-Man, able to survive, but just barely. There's the forward brush coming out of the sky, doesn't use Siri Strike though, and she's able to pick up the kill onto the Finn. Loving E-Man getting taken down, but that's going to be two kills going over. For anything thus far, Minion Mine does get taken on the side of TSM, and it's going to be the gold mine started up by Phoenix. Are they going to be able to get it? No, with the forward barrage, Sky steals it away. Call them doing a fantastic job there. They're focusing down the Finn. Pops his fountain is not going to be enough. He's going to get taken down. Kill going over to Mishi, and they're trying to lock down the Glaive as well, chasing quite far under the tower. Not going to be able to take the kill though. Never mind, Suri Strike coming down from the sky, able to lock him down. Death from above was used to zone down the Ringo. Is Fortress going to be able to get the kill though? Yes, she does. And that's going to be flash. Not like they're just going to let them take it for free. And on top of that, they have a level 10 sky now, so they don't really have to be afraid of these fights. We do see a fight happening in the lane. They'll force the cord landing onto the Black Feather. Is it going to be enough? The fountain gets popped, but Glaive is able to lock down the kill. One kill going over to Team Phoenix. The death from above gets thrown down by Call the Meek. It's not going to be able to lock anyone down for a kill, though, just yet. Onto Flash X, and it looks like they're going to try and go for the re-engage. There's the afterburn into the sky. Call the Meek getting taken down by Big Paws as well. It's going to be another kill going over to... Team Phoenix, yes, they do. Over, give him something to think about with another afterburn stun. Uh, but this fight that we do see starting right over on. going in onto, or trying to go in onto Mishi, but he wasn't able to really do all that much damage. Close enough to starting all over to make sure he could stick to him and constantly hit him. And as you saw, was able to go ahead and pick up basically a free kill for himself in the lane. Yeah, your 4,000 gold lead, one turret down for Team Phoenix at about 12 and a half minutes into the game. Oh, we see Mixi fall to a coordinated... Suck his neck out a little bit too long. We do see that the Force Accord is down, so that's not going to be available for Team Phoenix. They do see an afterburn coming out of starting all over, but loving E-Man tanking too many tower shots. He's going to get taken down. That down to below half HP. They're going to have to be careful for the damage coming out of starting all over. There's the afterburn. The puppies get thrown out by Flash X as well. One more attack from... Starting all over is going to be able to pick up the kill onto the fortress. So Flash X going to be taken down, but we do see Black Feather coming back from the base. Mishi getting two kills there for himself. That's going to be another ace going over to TSM, and they're going to take the gold mine right off of that. I got to say, that didn't work out exactly for starting all over. He did pick up an extra kill on Flash X there, but I don't know the be dangerous. They grabbed a turret up there in the lane. That was really nice how that worked out for them. But TSM is on the prowl now, and they do have both minion miners. So if they get this win, it's going to be a fantastic push for them. Wow, and we do see Mishi able to lock down the kill onto Loving E-Man. It's going to be Glaive trying to pick up the kill onto Blackfeather, though. That's two kills going over to starting all over. And we do see Big Paws trying to chase onto Flash X. Not going to be able to lock uh, Stick to it. We got a fight breaking out here in the jungle. Wow, we do see the wolves getting popped there by Flash X. See, there's the Afterburn coming in as well. Going to be knocking... Uh, call the meek into the wall. We do see Big Paws getting taken out of the fight almost immediately though And there's the death from above going to be trying to lock down starting all over They do successfully do it though. It's going to be a comeback at this One thing we're gonna have to look out for though is whether or not they're gonna get engaged on like they just did We do see the Suri strike coming out of the sky to just get away from that fin But we do see Ringo able to pick up the kill on the black card. That's one kill going over to Team Phoenix Death from above comes down from the sky as she Suri strikes into the glaive going to be getting taken down as well that's two kills going over to team phoenix it's going to be flash x the only one alive just going to be trying to keep them occupied as that kraken wails on their vein crystal turret and honestly this is the fight that they needed this is the fight that team phoenix needed to get the ace 
off of teening and fairly even standing. They really want to go ahead and take a fight, though. If they're able to get a kill here, this should be a good fight in favor of Team Phoenix. We do see the Quibble coming down from the Finn. Going to be locking down the Black Feather and the Fortress. It's not going to be enough. There's a forward brush coming in from the sky. It's going to be... Uh, starting all over just in their base, uses the afterburn to try and escape the forward barrage from Sky. Finn gonna be the last one alive, just gonna be walking around, keeping them a little bit occupied, and it's just still gonna be surviving here for quite some time. But that is, should be the ace, and it's eventually, and it's going to be the game in favor of uh, Burn down big paws and starting all over before they can get enough damage. Here are Mixi and Koldemik to deliver the two coup de gras to the Bane Crystal. Big paws coming out to try and defend it a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be enough. There it goes. So they might be two turrets down. They're not out of the game by any means. Starting all over doing a fantastic trade with Mixi in the lane. He's gonna fall because of a really nice afterburn by Cold the Cold the Meek. So just a lot of ability being thrown around back and forth. Wow, so much damage being thrown down onto starting all over, and there is the Achilles being thrown down by Mixi. Able to miss totally nice the ball. They're gonna put Team Phoenix are trying to go into their back jungle here. Cold the Meek taking serious damage over he does get locked up by the forced accord there's the death from above being thrown down flash x gonna be the one caught by that gauntlet being thrown down as well and it's going to be called the able to escape here however he does Phoenix have has been able to get so much more of a push they haven't even lost a single turret yet but despite that if they're not careful that can change very quickly after a very sour fight gauntlet gets thrown down it looks like this might actually end up being that fight we do see loving e-man taking so much damage the tower gonna be the one to finish him off that kill going over to mixi and there's the hellfire root being thrown down as well and that's going to be starting all over getting taken down on the side of team phoenix that's gonna be an ace going over strike coming out of big paws just to try and escape we do see starting all over though, eating so much damage from Mixi, getting taken extremely low, the death from above coming down, not going to be able to do too much, the gauntlet comes down as well, and that's going to be Flash X going in onto Big Paws, there's the afterburn, Hellfire Brew comes out, that's going to be Big Paws being taken down in favor of TSM, that's going to also be Loving E-Man getting those out, it's going to be doing a little bit of damage there to Mixi, not going to be able to do anything significant though, that tower is not going to survive, Gauntlet gets thrown down as well, but it lands only onto a Finn, doesn't really do anything, Finn just gets slightly annoyed, first Vein Crystal Tower being taken down in favor of PSM, we do see Mixi eating so much damage from that Kestrel though, starting all over, able to pick him up, the Kraken gets taken down as well, it's going to be Cold Meek having to afterburn away from Team Phoenix, and that is going to be Flash X accepting his fate, knowing he's going to get taken down. It looks like TSM is just going to be clearing out a little bit of the jungle. Gauntlet hasn't yet been thrown down, and there it is. It's going to be thrown down now. But it's going to be stopped after the stun from the Finn. But here comes Team Phoenix. So much damage being output onto that call to Meek. And he's going to get taken down as well. Ringo going to be picking up the kill onto Big Paws. But Big Paws is going to get the return kill onto Flash X, Mixi, and... Uh, starting all over gonna be the only ones alive here. Loving E-Man gets taken down by Mixi doing so much damage to starting all over. Starting all over just trying to clear that wave as quick as possible. That turret is not gonna survive. That gets taken down. And it's gonna be Mixi versus starting all over. Mixi gonna be taking down this Vein Crystal extremely fast. And it's going to be the game going over to TSM. 2-0 in favor of them and they're going... Hi, Pony. We might actually get that Dragon's Breath in a good spot here from Chicken. And, well, Pony's going to go straight up to him. But now here comes that damage. Lightning T trying to block it. Oh, he's still alive. Somehow he's going to live right through it. He finally dropped, but they get two kills for it.